I have been shown something interesting, something mysterious. That giant rectangle on the floor. Well, it looks like a cabinet, but it's actually something more. And with the click of one single button, you learn about its capabilities. This is the AWOL Vision 4K Trichroma laser projector. And inside of the cabinet is a 120 inch deployable screen all in a very short distance. You've seen laser projectors before, but I have never seen an all-in-one system that with the push of a button actually sends everything into a TV-like format at this scale. So what has to happen inside of that process is two twofold. So we have the screen itself and then we have the projector down here and it's timed. So the projector actually extends from its motorized drawer at a similar pace to the deploying screen on which it will project. Watch how it goes in. Now the beauty of this is that you don't have any of your components exposed when it's not in use. And you don't have the eyesore of a giant black hole that you're staring at when you're not actually watching something. The other benefit here, we do still get the storage that you'd be looking for, but you can put your game console right inside of there and the door is glass, so your remotes will work through there as well. Of course, you can buy the laser projector on its own, set it on whatever piece of furniture you would like. The difference with these types of devices is that they do take up some space. So this type of integration here, it just keeps everything more streamlined. There's something so satisfying about the ritual of the experience, like watching it just rise up and then getting prepared to watch something. We have an Amazon streaming device for all of the variety of smart TV things you might wanna do. If you do buy this package, you'll actually get Fire TV included. In this environment, we do have some lighting turned on and I wanted to do that to showcase just how bright this thing is and the fact that you can have ambient light going. Obviously, if I kick the lights off, it's gonna boom even more, but this is totally watchable even with this bright lighting turned on. We have plenty of advanced features. And yes, there's also 3D built in here and there's 3D glasses. So there's active 3D functionality if you wanna watch 3D content. Now we've also got sound built in here. So even without external sound, we have some pretty loud sound coming out of the projector. By default, the projector as it extends is gonna map itself to the screen. However, if you need to go in there and tweak it, you can do so manually through this setting right here. Same thing here. We can manually go in and fine tune our focus. Uh, the up and down key will adjust the motor lens for focus performance. All right, so what we have here is streaming. All the different services you would want, and this is via Fire TV. Any source you want to feed through HDMI is completely up to you. This is the one that's included. Play. Lou later on YouTube. No, yeah, hey, pretty good. You know, there's something about scale when you have a really big image, the immersiveness of it, and then the projection screen, which has a certain characteristic, like a flatness to it, kind of simulates the cinema experience. And you're just not used to having a cinema-like experience in your living room. So it kind of like elevates the content. I'm just watching Lou later on here. If you watch it on your phone, it's like one thing. And then I put it up here with some loud audio and I'm just like, okay, that's something different now because of the presentation. And of course you're gonna throw Hollywood movies at this thing and, and you're gonna have that same effect. You're immediately more immersed and the ritual feels more serious because it's like being in your own personal movie theater. The speaker is loud. It would be impossible for us to proceed in this show. We have a lot oh of cool things to talk about. Obviously the speaker is way louder than you would typically get on a device like this. However, you can connect wirelessly to external Bluetooth audio. You can use HDMI, uh, eARC, and you can also use SPDIF. Tons of options to output to home theater. Chances are if you have this, you're gonna do that. Some sort of surround system is gonna accentuate things further. Colorful, strange, abstract shapes, 4K. Sick. You're so smart. <laughs> that whole thing had me absolutely mesmerized. Home. You got a big enough screen 
it creates a quite an effect. Can I do another one? Can I just keep watching these things? <laughs> Everything is timed. Everything is on each note, exactly. <laughs> How did I not know that existed? I feel like I should have known that that existed. That's from 14 years ago. 15 million views. I don't get to watch 120 inches very often. That's what's going on here. And now I'm just like happily exploring the depths of YouTube here at 120 inches. I'm pretty sure you would do the exact same thing if you had access to this device right here. All right, how about some specifications? I almost got lost inside of this thing, which is good. I was wrapped. I was wrapped in a blanket of projection of 3D as mentioned. 3500 lumen, triple laser technology, no color wheel, DTS-X and Dolby Atmos, R10+, plus, 1 plus billion colors, focus and keystone correction, up to 150 inches of superior sharpness, edge to edge. Game mode inside of the settings is the lowest ever input lag of 30 milliseconds with 4K and 17 milliseconds with 1080p. So you can actually play games on this thing with that quick feedback. So the model that we're looking at here is the LTV 3500. They also make a 2500 and the number there matters because it actually corresponds to the amount of lumens. So you don't need to get the whole elaborate motorized setup, although it is extremely cool. You can also get mountable screens that you can just place on the wall. So triple laser means you've actually got three pure lasers without a color wheel. So unlike UST projectors that do have a color wheel, this optical system uses pure RGB triple lasers to deliver colors directly. This is going to improve color vibrance and reduce the noise and rainbow effect. On the back of the projector where the Fire TV stick actually inserts, they've carved out a pocket so that you can actually hide the TV stick inside the projector without an extra AC adapter. Why does it always have to be a cinematic? So who died on that time? Last time was the wife. Is that the kid now? Does he have to paint the head every time? Yeah, every morning. Oh, this guy got a, what, an elk or? Wait a sec. No, it's a caribou. Oh, that's the kid right there. Hey! The pain in that chant. Like, how many people had to die for that chant? Woo! I think you're playing now. I'm going? What? Ah! Oh, circle. It look no, not circle, dude. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're through the state. We made it. Let us go home. It's Becky. I was getting immersed. I know, but like we were, you know. They were immersing me. Their goal was to immerse me. I was immersed. And Will told me, God of War, this and that. He's shouting Ragnarok at me. Listen, let me tell you something, all right? I, I don't get as much time to play the games these days. So I was, it was uh, very engaging and immersive, as suggested. Especially at 120. A very magical experience. Only scale can, can really achieve when you're watching content and it kind of gives that cinema twist to whatever you throw at it. Obviously the same thing happens with games and particularly cinematic games like God of War. You're just like, whoa, I'm in a movie theater right now. 
and I'm playing. And with the low input lag, it's totally feasible. You can just, this is what you can do. This is what you will do. Very cool stuff. Uh, I have never seen an implementation like this before. I have never seen this combination of things. I've never seen a retractable display slash projector thing that is timed with one another, open, close, and this capable. So a, a very cool all-in-one package. So check the links, check the description for whatever deals exist for those and uh, enjoy.